Sunday night has been added to the list of games to forget in Steelers history. And this Tuesday night cup encounter might be just what the team needs right now to get some confidence back into the goal scorers, the crowd and the club in general. This is the second leg of the Challenge Cup quarter-final and they're facing the Dundee side that they hand-picked as their opponents and who haven't won in Sheffield in the Elite League era in 21 attempts. Their coach Omar Pasha has never led a team to a win over the Steelers. He's had 24 goes at it over four seasons with three different teams. The Stars last played here in the quarter-final in Sheffield and they lost 11-1. Sheffield have outscored Dundee 35-10 this season and they already hold a five-goal aggregate lead. Nothing can go wrong tonight. Can it? Again, it breaks the Steelers' way. Here's Wallace. Dowds the option to the left. Here's Valdix now. Wallace goes to the net. Save is made. Follow-up attempt. And that's the shot from Phillips. That is saved by Fullerton. Mentioned in the intro that the Steelers have scored 35 goals in five games against the Stars. A pair of 8-2 wins in the league at Ice Sheffield. And try and set up this power play opportunity. We come back to Fox. This Stadel. Moving it across, playing it down low, swept across the goal. Here's an opportunity. Oh, and the Steelers have got across and blocked it. You got Mustakov moving from post to post, but there were defensemen in the way. And here come the Steelers short-handed. Big slap shot. Good save. And the follow-up was not quite there for Armstrong because it was covered well by Fullerton after a while really climbed into one. See the glove save, but he reacted well and he crucially got his arm behind it. Dowd circles back. Some room left wing side, the Stars took it away, Mastro de Casa was quickly across, Dowd goes in and finishes his hit but that's going to be a penalty, he came in from a long way out and there's a little bit of argy-bargy now and Dowd is right in the middle of it, swinging the punches with Mastro de Casa and Dowd is going for it and Mastro de Casa is getting beaten in this one and he doesn't want any part of it. He turns to have a few words at the end, but he was cowering away from the bombs that Dowd was throwing. And the crowd will love that from Robert Dowd. He'll get the initial penalty. Mastro de Casa came across to let Dowd know that the hit, which was already going to be penalised, wasn't wanted. But Dowd was certainly the aggressor in that fight. No doubt about it. And that's really brought the crowd to life for the first time tonight. And they're all coincidental. So they don't show on the clock, and so the Steelers can continue their power play. They don't have Dowd, but they do have O'Connor and Westerling. And Wah! And a save from Fullerton. O'Connor. One timer comes in, it's wide. Fresher at the side of the goal. He's not been able to put it in. Fullerton got back to his post. And we're going to have a rumble again. This time it's War in the middle of it. With a couple of face washes and pushes with that left hand. I was trying to jam it home. Fullerton was facing the wrong way and looking back over his shoulder at a puck which was still live. War in a little bit of a headlock momentarily. And he didn't much appreciate it. Stars into the offensive zone, worked into the left wing corner. A little bit of a stumble presents possession back to Sheffield. Phillips feathers it forward, Arson continues on. Round to the far side, there's Westerling, Francilla. Nice hands, Francilla, look at the moves, Francilla! That was worth the wait. One of the best individual goals we've seen at the arena this season. Provided by Mika Francilla. And how the game needed that. Four on four. 
And the Finn has his first Sheffield Steelers goal. And we enter the final minute of this second period. Teams back to five on five. Backhander from Armstrong misses the target. He'll go and collect it himself from the corner. Markard opens it up and takes the forehand shot. Stick save made by Fullerton to the corner. Backdoor play looking for Kirk. Didn't quite gather it in first time when he got it from the boards. And Markart. 20 more seconds. Dowd. Tries to bring it out. Backhand finds its way in. Steelers have scored a second. And they're starting to take control of this second leg. Dowd brought it out. And Markart chopped at it. And the Steelers have scored two goals in two minutes. And lead 2-0. Intercepted by Hart at centre ice. Stars into the offensive zone for the first time this period. Around the back of the net. And back out to Pasha. Backhander towards traffic and then it's played out. And there'll be a breakaway chance. The Steelers are in. Opportunity taken by Markart. He's flicked it in. And the Steelers have scored their third. Yeah, nice little breakaway pass there. Markart, you can see him lumbering through centre ice there. He's looking over his shoulder. He got that one little peek, but... He knows where the net is here. You can see the head up all the way. Nice little shoulder drop there and pops it up over the blocker. Nice little goal there for him as well. So just, just gets uh, uh, Fullerton to go down just a little bit early maybe and open the top part of the net and just buries it up over the blocker. Westerling. Comes back to Francilla across to the far side. Fitzgerald. Sent goalwards and it's gone in! Fitzy's got himself a goal, but Fullerton won't be impressed. Yeah, it looks like it's gone through Fitzgerald there. Just snaps it through. A little bit high shot coming through, but a good job in front of the net. Phillips does a good job there. I don't think he gets a deflection on it. Yeah, netminder's definitely not going to be happy about that one. In and out of the glove. Looks like it hit him in the palm of the glove and rolls up and through the pocket. Bit un unfortunate there for Fullerton. I know he'll want to have that one back. But again, good job in front of the net. It would have been nice to see Wallace come in and bury one in a couple of shifts just before that to get his uh, bit of confidence up for him but Fullerton's night's finished by the looks of it Greg Holland Sheepdog is in the net now for Dundee penalty is slashing on Mastro de Casa long shot through gets a deflection and Wa holds his stick up high to celebrate yeah again nice Nice puck movement there by uh, by Sheffield. You see him one touch the puck around quite a few times, and a nice little shot comes through here from uh, from O'Connor with Matthew Waugh in his in his uh, in his office in front of the net. There's there's actually two deflections there. Can't quite pick up which uh, which of the, uh, the the opposition players picked it up and, and touched it. But Matthew Waugh gets a nice little deflection there, and it it, it, it slides in between the netminder's legs. Lost it when it took the deflection off the boot. Steelers are in again. Oh, and the pass was a good one, but it couldn't be gathered in by Fretta. Nice work from Wa. Couldn't play the pass. Back out towards Matheson. Shot into a crowd, and it's beaten everyone. And it may have been touched on route. The Steelers have got a sixth. Yeah, it's just coming thick and fast. I was just going to say about how, how professional it's been when you see Holland there blocking a shot at 5 nothing, knowing that you're down by 10 goals in, on aggregate. He still blocks the shot and gets in the lane, and, and that one there just eludes the netminder. And, uh, uh, not an awful lot of power behind the shot, but it, it gets through and finds a gap, and unfortunately for the netminder, it goes through the 5 hole and, and puts Sheffield up from, uh, with 6 now. So here's Fretter. Mastro de Casa turned around. And then Fretta with a little bit of a miscommunication and the Stars could get an opportunity here coming back the other way. Harding, oh and the puck was on his stick and it just skipped past him. Fretta then goes in and lands a hit. It was right on the edge of legal, the Stars didn't like that, I can see why. And it's Pasha going after Fretta. 
And Fretta has landed the blows that matter. Yeah, the coach comes in there to rescue him on a bit of a, of, of a nominal or a bit of a, you know, interesting hit. We'll see it better on the replay here. But even though 6-0, Pasha comes in there to stick up for his teammates. And this is what we're saying about still trying to do the professional thing and and uh, and allow the game to uh, to go without incident. So Fredder comes in and makes the hit. Pasha comes in and, and does the retaliation. So uh, it's one of those plays where the, uh, the, the player is turning as he comes in. And Pasha comes in and, and has a word and says, you know, I've got to do something. And then good on him. But... Uh, you know the, the 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 first one with Freder. He's coming in fairly fairly quick and hard, and at the last second, the player turns the back on him, and very very difficult to pull out. But it's Ingles up the board. Nice pass inside, and here comes Levesque. Good hands, Levesque moving on towards Fox. Fox scores, oh. and there's something for the visiting fans to cheer. Yeah. And you know what? Their efforts in the first two periods, they deserve something to cheer. Yeah, it's, it's basically a two-on-two -two and a shot out of nothing. Just comes across Arson. Arson doesn't quite keep up and, and check off, and Fox gets a good hard shot. Shooter goes down to, to take away the passing lane, and Brad Day's down a little way too early again in my eyes. He pops that up over the shoulder, and, and Fox celebrates. One more opportunity maybe for the Stars. Can they get it towards goal? They can't. Kirk clears up. And the Steelers are victorious on the night by six goals to one. And by a full ten goals on aggregate. Steelers' man of the match is Matt Markart. He scored goals two and three. And he will get to do a fast lap. I think whatever just, energy he's got left. I think they're just discussing what they're going to do. <laughs> I'm not sure if, if, if any of them have that many ideas left of things, but uh, but Dowdy and O'Connor seem to have something in the plan for him, and we'll see what happens, what rolls out. And it's time to go bowling. And the 10 pin falls. And the 10 goal aggregate victory sees the Steelers through to the Challenge Cup semi finals. All through to the semi finals of the Challenge Cup, so I guess that was the biggest tick in the box. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, to come, up, you know, to come back with a, with, a, with a great 6 1 win, and you can see we were a little nervy, even at practice, you know, this morning. Very quiet room. And uh, we, I said to them, you know, contrary to the belief that's out there, you know, we played a good game on Sunday. What we didn't do is we didn't put the puck in the back of the net. We, we ran up against a, a goalie who, who was outstanding. But because of the situation, everything's magnified and we're the worst hockey club that's ever played. And, uh, and that's not the case. That's really not the case. So to come back in today, you could see first period, we're trying to get into our rhythm. And, and then once we get that first, that second goal, uh, you know, we start to come alive. We start to feel confident and... Uh, 90% of this game is what's in between your ears, and, and, and sometimes you you got to work yourself out of it. No disrespect to Dundee, and I don't mean this. You know, we, we, we've done well against them this year. They're not the level of the teams in our conference. We know that. So we're not coming away from here thinking, oh, tonight it's done. You know, it's not, but it's, it, it's, a, it's a process. And everything that we do every day is a process to try and get better. And there's been a lot of stuff thrown at us. And uh, what it's done, it's galvanised us, and it's, uh, you know, and it's, it's not everybody, but it, it's made us a stronger group because through adversity, you've got to come together. And, you know, last year, this time last year, we were pretty much where we are now, you know. And uh, we finished the year being the, the number one team in the UK. You know, four goal deficit against Nottingham. We came back, beat Belfast in the semis and, you know, and won the final. So it's about us getting some rhythm and uh, getting some confidence. And not everybody's playing anything close to where they should be right now. I felt a couple came back today. But uh, we need a hell of a lot more from some players. And uh, that'll come. When you say a couple came back today, Westerling on the power play, for example. Yeah, we moved him onto the half boards. I wanted him to dictate it. You know, we got three one-timers and, 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 and frets down low. And we feel with his passing range and his dishing that we can get a different look from that. And uh, I, I really did think he bossed that today and, and, and did a great job there. You know, I was really, really happy with him. You know, Max comes in with a couple of goals while he gets a tip. You know, goal scorers breed on confidence. And, 
it was nice to, you know, just to go into the room tonight because there's been a lot of stress. And, and you know, myself and Jerry, we're the people that have to pick up the pieces every day. And uh, I have to say, you know, from this morning, we reassured and we told them that they're good players, they're good people. It doesn't always go right. We know where we are. We're not a great team right now. We're a decent team. We're not a great team right now. But the process has to start accelerating to become that great one. Can I just ask you about one move that you did make, and, and that is Mark Matheson, you know, your number one defenceman. Tonight was your number one centre. What was the thinking behind that? Well, Mark played centre. Uh, he played centre in college. And we all know how he can keep the puck. And I feel at times that we don't keep the puck enough in the offensive zone. We, you know, we give it up too easy. We make bad, bad decisions. And I feel that we're, as a club, if we, and you saw our cycle game today a little better, we keep the puck, we bump, we start penning teams in. And, you know, that tires teams out. And, and that was, uh, you know, a, a big, a big, big part of our, our game and the way we play. And, and we haven't done that lately. You know, as soon as we got into the zone, we've been on our own. We've been trying to play one-on-one -on -one hockey and boom, it's coming back the other way, you know, within two, three seconds. So we had no zone time. So we really wanted to work on that and, you know, and get confident from that. Frankie had a, had a great goal tonight. He got us going. Mags, like I said, picked up a couple tonight. I thought Liam... He's getting stronger and stronger. His ice time will increase because he's out playing imports right now and I'm not going to sit him behind them. So I was pleased with his game today. So lots of ticks, a couple of crosses that we got to build guys back up and get them going again. But we're 8-0, 100% record in the cup. And we're through. We're two games away from another final. And, uh, you know, and that's what this club's about is trying to achieve and win trophies. And uh, we'll wait patiently. I think is it the Guildford, the Guildford Cardiff game to see how that comes out.